the introduction of motion to architecture is an interesting concept. It has increased sharply in the late 20th century due to advances in mechanics, electronics, and robotics. Even though architecture is something static, it does guide our movement, influences our motion path, and affects our well-being. To complete this project, we had to choose a location in a temperate climate, study the area, design a dynamic public pavilion, consider sustainable materials for construction, simulate the design using IES, Assess thermal, wind, and light performance for the gap under the pavilion for at least three scenarios in three different seasons and different hourly changes per day. Compare the new results to the chosen country's sustainability assessment method, which is BREEAM in our case. Compare the new results against the base case. We have chosen the United Kingdom as the location of our project, precisely Oxbridge Town in London. Oxbridge Town is located in the west of the UK capital with headquarters located in the Civic Centre. The site we have chosen is located particularly in the new community at St Andrews Park Street. It is a new development that includes up to 1,340 new homes, new primary school, large public park, offices and shops, restaurants, a theatre, hotel, museum and a care home. This data shows that the age group of frequent visitors is going to be mostly teenagers and adults since also student accommodation accounts for about 50% of the total rental spaces in Oxbridge. Here you can see an illustration of the community and its nature, as well as the proposed exact location of our pavilion. This illustration shows the orientation of our project after conducting solar analysis of summer and winter sun. It illustrates the solar pattern and the way pavilion casts and creates shadow. The open part of the pavilion is located towards north, and the closed part faces south, protecting its inside from frequent winds that usually blow from the southwest towards northeast. As a case study, we have found an example of a pavilion that was built in 2008 for the London's Festival of Architecture. It is designed by the architect Tonkin Liu and is called a fresh flower pavilion. Its structure is made out of steel, which comes in bent hollow sections with fabric between them. It has 11 petals and the weighted feet to resist upwind. Each petal's frame is made out of five sections of hollow steel. The design of our pavilion evolved from the concept of circular shape in motion. By observing the umbrella and the mushroom's cap, we noticed that it is segmented to form gills to allow it to reproduce. The idea of our pavilion was born by dividing a circle equally into 36 segments using polar array. We have created three scenarios using our design. Scenario 1 equally spaced. Scenario 2 one-sided towards east, and scenario 3 fully closed. Now let's take a look at the 3D illustration of our project's construction.
United Kingdom follows BREEAM as its main sustainability assessment method. It ensures that buildings comply to regulations that provide visual and thermal comfort, good air quality, and sustain the environment in the materials they use for construction. For the yellow parts of the pavilion, we have chosen ground sheet PVC fabric. It is commonly used for tents, as it stretches well, reflects heat, and doesn't get wet. For the framework, we are using lightweight steel structure, which is also considered to be a durable and sustainable material. To assess the thermal performance of our pavilion, we had to conduct some cast analysis on the specific base case that we created to match our pavilion's design. Total solar gain was measured to be 0.604, and here are some views showing some exposure contours. This chart shows the daily hours in June, September, and December. After examining daily hours, scenario 1 shows these contours, and solar gain was measured to be 0.348. The illustrations that follow show shadows examined in June, September, and December at 10 a.m., 12 p.m., and 3 p.m. This is scenario 2. There is more contrast seen in contour colors, and the solar gain was measured to be 0 This is scenario 3. The base case receives almost no sun and appears all in blue contours. The solar gain was measured to be 0 0.1143. Now let's take a look at lighting analysis and contours for the three scenarios against the base case. These simulations were made for the base case in June at 10 a.m., 12 p.m., and 3 p.m. In scenario 1, the contours on the ground were most uniform in June at 3 p.m. In September at 3 p.m. And almost at all times in December. Scenario 2 showed a mix of results. In order to understand them better, we examined the contours at both sides of the pavilion. We 
We also conducted wind analysis to study external velocity and pressure contours, as well as internal wind circulation. After conducting research on most famous renewable sources of energy in the United Kingdom, we found out that a wind turbine is a good solution to provide a clean energy to operate a small structure like our pavilion. The results here show that during scenario 1, solar gain was reduced by 42.5%, during scenario 2, by 38%, and during scenario 3, by 82%, which makes it the most effective.